Hello, this is Ben Worth. I'm giving you a quick overview to Sitecore. First thing I'm going to do is log into Sitecore. The initial login can take a few minutes uh, at the startup. Uh, take a note of the email address up here. That's a bit unusual. Uh, notice also that ad backslash uh, appears in front of my uh, username. Uh, note also that um, the password is simply my KCTCS password. Um, I've selected the content editor. You'll notice that that was, button was blue or lightly blue when I logged in. That is the format I have found to be most useful in updating Sitecore. Okay, this is bringing me into Sitecore. What I'm going to do is uh, edit some content in the distance learning pages. So I'm going to click the little plus arrow by content. And each of you will be assigned specific space on the website that you will have uh, the ability to access. You will most likely be able to see all the content of our website. You just won't be able to edit all of it. Um, my content is under academics and distance learning. You'll see I have a number of folders and subfolders under distance learning. I'm going to click on a subfolder and I'm going to click on um, underneath student resources hybrid classes. Now, I have opened up a page. The first thing I have to do is lock and edit it. So I'll click lock and edit. I come down here to the actual content. It says body copy. Double click that. This brings up an editor. If you've done any work in Blackboard or other similar web resources, you'll be familiar generally with the content up here. It allows me to insert uh, hypertext, uh, allows me to embed uh, various kinds of media, uh, and format the page. Um, I'm going to put period where there wasn't one before. I will click, I can make whatever changes I want. I, I will say that this format can be a little buggy. If you are familiar with HTML code, you can click this button and work directly in there. But in most cases, just go with simple formats. Less is more. I will click accept. Now, uh, next thing I need to do is save my work. So I'm going to come up here and click save. I'm going to click review. And then I am going to click submit. This submits content to be reviewed by ITS for publication to the website. If I have any special issues that come up, I can put them in here. I usually leave this blank. Occasionally, I'll leave an email. Uh, I'll, I'll note to the Sitecore folk to um, send it uh, an email alerting someone that this up information has been updated. Okay, it has now been submitted to Sitecore. So the next thing I need to do is let ITS know that I have updated that content. I will visit ITES, logging into ITES. I'm going to come down here and say website, select Sitecore Workflow Review, uh, title, I just simply need um, content published, short description, academics, uh, you need to tell them what it is that got published. In my case it was uh, academics, distance, learning, student resources, and it was um, hybrids. Um, and that's basically it. Uh, I could add that here if I needed to. Um, there is no location for this. Uh, there is no real URL to reference. And uh, I'll just choose today's date for completion and click submit my request. There you have it. Um, uh, ITS has been pretty good about getting stuff back to me quickly. All right, thank you so much. Hi, 
Hi, this is Ben Worth, and I'm going to show you how to use your district locker to um, put content on the internet. What you see in front of you is uh, some information that I've put in, created in Microsoft Word. If I want to publish this to the internet, it's very, very easy. I come to Start. I'm going to click Save As. Uh, choose a format. Um, why not save it as um, a P PDF is a very easy format to read on the internet. I could save it just as a Word document. I'm going to go ahead and save it as HTML content. So I'm going to come down here under Save as Type. I'm going to select a uh, web page. All right, where to store it? I'm going to click My Computer. I'm going to come here to the uh, L drive where it says, you see my user ID, um, and it says uh, district.bluegrass.kctcs.edu. Then I'm going to put it in the www folder. Now, I need to give it a name, some tips on a name, no spaces. It makes it very difficult to put in a website. Um, also, shorter the better. So I'm just going to call this um, Sitecore Help. Okay? And then I'm going to click Save. And that's it. I've now published something to the Internet. There it is on the Internet. If I want to make changes to it, all I have to do click save and I'm making changes to it. But where is it? Okay, this is my advisor quick view. You'll notice that up here is the address for the district locker. It's followed by the first half of my email address and then a slash. Anything after that slash is the content of that www folder. Um, let's look one more time. So I'm going to go to my computer Open this, www, and all the contents of this folder are online, including Sitecore Help. Now, one problem. If you publish it to the web, you have to include the file extension. The default view in this application removes the file extensions, and I'm going to change that. So I'm going to go to Tools, Folder Options, View. I'm going to come down here and remove the check mark for Hide Extensions for Known File Types and click Apply. Doing this then shows that three letter extension at the end of all of my files. The extension for a website is .htm, the extension for um, Adobe Acrobat, is .pdf, um, and you can see some other extensions here. This sometimes can be confusing because some Word files are going to be saved .dfc, the newer ones will be .docx, and having those file extensions hidden from this view makes it difficult to know what it is. But you can come down here and see very clearly that um, Sitecore underscore help .htm is in fact my content. So I will come up here and type in sitecore underscore help dot htm, and there it is. There's the content I've created. If I come over here and click make a change by Ben Worth, and then click save, I come over here to the internet and click refresh, and you can see that I've refreshed it. This is a helpful way of putting content quickly online and to edit and maintain copy that is um, uh, online.